Okay. Um, I'm going to show a little bit more about finger flexing in um, some music. And that it's kind of tied in to the sensitivity of your fingers as well as getting those muscles to work. And what I want you to try is, I've got a mitten here. I'm going to put it on and you can try this. It's, um, it's really great exercise, I think. You just play some open strings. Let's just try something like G's and D's, okay? <laughs> Noticing what your fingers are feeling, okay? You could even close your eyes. Okay, it's a great experiment. I'm not even going to tell you what you'll feel. It's for you to discover. Um, let's try putting the mitten on again and playing the first three notes of you know, the Bach Minuet. Anyway, um, open G, open D, and first finger on the A string, B. Okay, try it a few times. Okay, I'm going to try to use some finger flexing while wearing this mitten. It's not so easy. now, trying to curl up my fingers as I go from G to D and B, and the arm follows. So close your eyes too, and notice what your bow fingers and below thumb feel. practicing this finger sensitivity, I want you to think about the connection of the bow hairs to the string, your bow to the cello, and your whole body, feet to the floor too, if you can add that. If not, just feeling a connection of the bow to the cello. Okay, I'm going to play a bit of this. Okay, so the sensitivity, the connection of bow to cello, hairs to string, and the finger flexing can give you so much more pleasure from playing the cello and more control, more beauty. Try it and see what you think.